time to get out of this hellhole. Jeez. Oh, uh, uh, okay. This Urshan character is really freaking weird. Like, I guess... I probably said this, it's been a few days since I played it, but... Since I last recorded an episode, but I think I might have said it. I think Urshan might actually be two people. One, Urshan, the, that named character, is actually like the intelligence which... Dictates decision-making and... All that, but the physical body as well as the, um... As well as the entity that is speaking is someone else, and we don't know that one's name. What the f- Did something happen? We jumped forward. And... Cray has joined the party. <laughs> well, let's take a look at his stats. Um... Okay, he's the strongest, highest defense, lowest agility by a mile. Lowest... Magic by a mile. Let's see... What's he got? Oh, he's carrying a log. <laughs> and he's just got some stuff. Okay, this is... Oh, what, what kind of abilities does he have? Protect. Speed. And, okay, so he's a supplement character. But he's... Got a lot of power. Uh, I feel like something must have gone wrong. We jump forward awkwardly. Was that supposed to happen, or did I run into some kind of a bug? Jeez, come on. Magic against a flying opponent. I mean, we couldn't have jumped that far ahead. The enemies aren't scaled too high. I, f I definitely feel like something's wrong here, though. I 
kind of don't want to go on too far in case this was some kind of an error. Oh, alright. He doesn't seem to have any field ability. Like uh, Nina's flying or um, Ryu's sword. Wow, look at that thing. Put a lot of effort into the animation of the sprites in this game. What's the star about? Oh. Yeah, there's a star next to the number. Oh, okay. So he had a high defense. So, are we dealing more damage now? I don't know, I don't remember the numbers before. <laughs> is Ryu still carrying that shit sword? I think he is. Yeah, the Bowie knife. Okay. <laughs> so, was that a dream? That had to be. So that, that was so weird, because it was a dream that, uh, oh, I guess the coastline is, is actually this way. I'm gonna see if I can pick up another sword, though, because, I mean, shit, this thing is terrible. That was an awkward thing, because it flashed into that dream pretty quick, and then it actually referenced the dream itself during the dream which was odd. But then it, like, okay, then we pop back out of the dream, and we're, like, and we're talking about the dream after the fact. So that was, that was strange. What what exactly did we make out of that? Oh, you know what? Urshan isn't wearing any, uh, Urshan isn't wearing any armor. Alright, so I couldn't exactly um, get a weapon for Ryu, but I could upgrade Urshin's crap a little bit. Okay, so I guess Ryu can sort of see the future in a way. And that's helping us, uh, I don't know, see the future or some shit. <laughs> that was weird. I mean, it would have been fine if they didn't reference the fact that there was a dream, because it made me feel like... 
what had happened was Ryu had a dream and it was when like the, the camera was distorted and then the dream ended and then we're forward we jumped forward in time after the dream during when they're breaking into that palace or whatever it was but instead they have that kind of going on for a few seconds they should have had maybe it would have worked a little bit better if they had like the entire dream sequence take place in like um, muted colors or something like that or black and white that would have worked better I mean I guess it comes through what they were uh, what they were trying to do if you think about it but it, it was definitely weird. Well, anyway, I guess that'll be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching.